hello friends and in this tutorial i am going to explain you about the data logging and how we can implement the data logging uh, and various type of block that is required to implement the data blocking i will explain you in this tutorial uh, so let's start the programming so first of all i will add uh, organization block okay and let's keep at main then after i will add uh, one function block let's give the name data log data log underscore fb fb okay now let's call that fb into the main ob directly okay now let's create uh, uh, we can say share db and here i will say data log okay here i will also add one new data share db which contain the text for the data log so i will say tags for the data log okay so our most of the blocks are set up now so let's create uh, let's uh, we can say create a text for the data log okay so here i will say uh, let's uh, make side by side here mm, this is the data block i don't require that close this one and close this one okay let's uh, open the sorry function block let's open the function block Oops, I have made one mistake here. You can see I have called FB inside FB. I have to call this FB into the main OV. So that's a mistake. Okay. So you can uh, <coughs> delete this one. Okay. And uh, let's call this fb into main here now it's okay now let's open the tags data block okay so here i will uh, make one uh, structure for create data block sorry data log and with the data type structure okay so what type of tag i required i know before so i will add require done then busy and error and status okay so in the status it is the word form okay so now we add the data log create instruction this one here and it will co open one instant now just uh, drag and drop the uh, we can say tag here required then uh, done then we see and uh, error and status okay now to understand all other tag i will open the data log uh, help instruction so here you can see what is the data log so with the use of this data log you can create a data log data log means whatever the value you have with the header and with its current value you can store to the external uh, file 
okay so you can see data log is saving uh, saving on the memory card or internal load memory or uh, in the directory of the data logs okay the amount of data is stored in the data log is dependent on the available space on the memory card or the storage in the internal load memory of the cpu use so the maximum size of generated csv file is this much byte for the s7 1200 is this much byte for the s7 1500 cpu okay so you can see here i would like to explain you you can have all these tags okay you can have tags into the data okay and in this data whatever the value you are giving with the name and with the header it is and with the timestamp it is storing the data to the external data log uh, in the form of csv okay so i will explain you how we can do that so first of all let me create some tag for the data log okay so i will close this one and i will open the data log okay so in the data log first of all uh, i would like to explain you uh, which tag we will create so first of all i will define the tag name okay name and uh, the tag data type of this name is string string then i will define the start value means what is the type of the uh, log i want to create i will say my log okay now the second data type we will add is uh, we can say header okay so i will say my header my header and this is also string and uh, so i will create the header like uh, t1 temperature 1 temperature 2 and uh, temperature 3 okay then i am creating the we can say data so what is my data and before the data i will write the id of data log okay and this is the double integer okay this is the double integer value then i will create data for data log and this is the structure structure so for t1 and all that i will create v1 v2 and v3 okay now i have created uh, three records v1 v2 and v3 so directly i will write here three okay that you need to understand and i will create the value 10 20 and 30 here the data type is uh, integer okay so here i have created three uh, records now here in the format which format we want to create i will explain here so first of all let's understand timestamp so i will select value 1 for the mmdd yyy hour minute and second okay so i will create the time step in the format of one so i will create this one now format where is the format here time stand and uh, parameter data and uh, let me explain format where is the format yes this is the format so i want to transfer the data in the form of csv so i will write one here okay so here i have write one now let's drag and drop the tag so here it is one okay 
then my header my header is this one where is the header okay my data is this one then my id is this one so you can see almost all the tag is defined here okay so now let's compile this one and you can see there is only one warning which is not uh, so much fault okay now let's download the program continue without synchronization and uh, let's say stop work and load it let's finish it now let's open the internet explorer internet explorer okay and in the internet explorer go to the web page enter login file browser data logs and this is the old file so i will delete this one i will create the new uh, data log file okay now let's make side by side so we can verify the data okay so let's open this one go online and uh, here if i click here google on it will create one file and this is the file here the file will come shortly yes you can see my file is now available and you can see it is come with the my log this is the name that i have defined here and uh, i will just click ok here and open it here allow here so it is open into excel format because it is csv file comma delimited okay and yes you can see my record date timestamp t1 t2 and t3 so all the header and all the process uh, all the variable is available here okay but here you can see the timestamp and value is not available so how we can write that i will explain you in this in the next tutorial here you can see we have a t1 t2 and t3 is available but data log is not right right now so how we can implement how we can download this value v1 v2 v3 and 10 20 and 30 okay how we can implement that i am going to explain you in the next tutorial so till then please revise this tutorial and if you have any doubt you can ask me in the next tutorial i am going to explain you how we can implement uh, this right instruction because in this instruction we have only created the data log we have not write the data log okay so in the next tutorial i will explain you how we can write the data log so thanks for watching this tutorial and uh, i hope we will meet the next tutorial thanks